Hey everyone! The good news is that the weather forecast is showing that we are going to have two degrees higher night temps than we currently have. And that is me taking advantage now and attacking my cat Leo Rex and see what we're up against here. No new growth. Some roots have tried to start growing. Oh my goodness, it doesn't look too shabby. Be a little bit more cautious here because I did not pre-soak. Yeah, I was just assuming, well, she's weak, nothing going on in the pot, but look, I gotta be careful. We have some good roots in the pot. Game changer. That changes everything. Let's spray something first. See if we can dislodge anything a little bit more carefully. Woohoo! That was unexpected. Nice, nice, nice. I'm just going to try and get some of the roots that have attached to the outside off. Most of them are dead, but underneath, underneath a dead one, we have a good one. So this is going to need a little bit more finesse before going all rad into it. Well, this is a nice surprise because I was already preparing lava rock. If this had been a terrible, terrible outcome regarding the roots, I would have changed the setup to lava rock. But considering that I have some live roots in here, I'm wondering if that's even necessary. Still not wanting to release. Is that just the microfiber? Or what is going on? Let's take the microfiber from the inside out instead of ripping. Look at that. There's a root that has gone into the microfiber, but it is now kinked. Maybe kinked because of me or kinked because of its being tangled with the microfiber. You can see that there's a little bit of a, a gap going on there. Maybe that's a microfiber thread. Either way, let's be diligent and see if we can be kind to that root until we figure out more. still holding on. Where are you holding on? Oh, this is exciting. There's more to this than meets the eye. Okay. Well, 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 we have some cleanup to do, but it's not a complete 100% disaster as I suspected. This is good. Oh, this is good. All right, let's address this. You know what? I don't think I need to change my setup. I need to consider how I want to improve on the care so that I don't harm the roots all the time, bearing in mind the root was on the leka, bearing in mind that my setup here is three years old. It's never been checked. So this is the first time I'm looking into the pot since I cleaned up the orchid and potted her up. And we do know that cattleya roots can dump themselves. That is not because of the setup, that's because of the nature of the orchid. So this is, yeah, this is making me feel a lot better. And I can put her back into Lekka and self-watering. And then tweak a little bit if she can stay healthy enough, because I think she has other, other underlying issues as she attracts bugs a lot. But this root, oh, what a shame. Oh, what a shame. Let me show you. 
See this root? It's all dried out at the top. There's no more velamen. When we follow it down, look at it. It's got all the branching. So I can't take it off there. But we can give the, the base a good clean. But yeah, everything else here is alive and it's depending on this one. Da, 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 da. Okay, we'll work around it. Let's start with what we can remove. have to that's because of the seedling situation not because they broke apart oh that's good that's good we can do an experiment I'm just gonna jet blast the base here get rid of all this nasty here I'm keeping my roots nice and wet, otherwise they will collapse because this is already a very, very compromised start. Gotta make sure that we keep those roots nice and wet. Just plain RO water. Let's clean up the base. Also because it's only been treated for scale on the superficial side of things. I've never actually been able to really treat this orchid for scale without just doing it topically, you know? Now this plain RO water, of course, is not going to do a big of difference to the scale, but it's nice to get a clean base. And then I'm gonna soak it for about 20, 25 minutes in a fungicide, just in case there are other underlying issues that are making this orchid weak. It doesn't hurt. Copper-based fungicide. In you go, 20 minutes. Don't want to really break the roots, but if I can fit the leaves in as well, that'd be great. All right, I'll see you just now. I'm gonna take King for a walk and we'll be back. Right, let's have a look-see. After a little bit of a bath, very carefully, get them out and let's get them potted up and see what happens. Make sure there's no lecker in there. And let's see what happens with them from here on in. I've made some little supports this time. I'm thinking positively. I'm thinking that the next new growth well, might, might not respond to light training. They might need a support because of how big they're gonna get. So that's what I'm doing. It didn't need a support before, but now I am hoping it needs it. Because the roots are so long, I'm not going to fill out Lekka on the bottom, but look, you, you, you can see the, 
the root up here that I was talking about earlier. See how it's damaged? And it's the one with the longest branching going down. If that were to fail, I have others that are intact. So I'm not going to spray off or leave, take off the fungicide as is into the pot. And again, the roots are going down to the bottom as they are used to the environment. I don't have to be careful. Lekka. I'm also only using one microfiber because I control the little bit of a drier environment for the roots with one microfiber better than with two. So despite this being a self-watering setup, I do try to consider what the orchid would prefer, even though it is a wet environment for the roots. The orchid does grow better in a drier environment, so I tweak that with how much microfiber I use at the base for my wicking and the size of my lecker. So this is big lecker, and that is why I'm using it for this orchid now, so that it has a drier feel in the pot. I'm also going to leave the orchid a little bit lower in the pot and I will be covering these roots that are used to moisture with Akadama. I want to be very careful not to put too much. This is just to protect them a little bit, but I'm using large lecker and I don't want to fill it with Akadama. This is just about giving the roots a little bit of protection from drying out too quickly because they were buried in the prot prior. There we go. I'm not going to tie her up. She is secure enough in the pot. That's one. We'll use the old label for that one. And I did say initially I wanted to experiment with the second one, but I'm not going to. Because if this works well, then I have a Rex to give away. So I'm not going to mess around with any kind of experiments. Going in as is. And then we'll just make sure we take care of it and bring it to some form of success. And then one day I've got one to give away. Same thing, the roots straight down in, they're used to that climate. No need to be putting a loop there. Large lecker. And leaving it a little bit lower in the pot because these are seedlings after all. A little bit of higher humidity. All right. I don't need to put Akadama on the surface here because these roots were more on the surface in the previous pot as well. So that's no issue. They just need to not dry out as much. Same thing. I had a spanking new label. Where's my label? Oh, there you are. <laughs> cool. Alrighty. New label, which I only did not with my name on it, but with the nursery it came from. I never changed my Schwerter labels to my own labels. If the orchid comes from me as a division or a cut or a piece, and I give it away, it has ninja orchids on it. But in this case, it's not a ninja orchid orchid. <laughs> Does that make sense? Right. And because these are now good and wet, I am not filling the reservoir at all, no need. They have been soaked and drenched. The microfiber is moist. That is all I want and all I need. And another thing is, if you're gonna soak cattleyas, then soak them during the day when the stomata is closed, especially when, when you're treating with pesticides and fungicides. And you've got roots. If you're gonna do this, 
and they have no roots and you need to recover or encourage an orchid, then always soak for an hour at night when their stomata opens. Otherwise, there's no way of getting any kind of substance into them. With roots during the day, stomata closed. Without roots at night for an hour when the stomata can open and a little bit of whatever it is you're trying to get in there can get absorbed. And that is Cattleya rex. Now we just keep our fingers crossed that she will recover. I have a root tip here that we can monitor. I don't know if you can see that now, but there's a root tip in and around that Lekka bead. And we can monitor that and see how it go gets along. That it goes in and down into the media. Yes, glad I've got this out of the way. This signals for me almost the start of the summer season because my night temps are going up, finally. Have a wonderful day, everybody. I really, really appreciate you watching this video. Any questions, any suggestions, anything you might not understand why I did what I did, please let me know. Be so happy to answer and have a dialogue. Take care, stay safe, bye.